Did you know that gravity is an important force that holds not only our planets in orbit around the sun, but also the entire universe? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video, we'll be learning how to add integers. Can you imagine a world where there is no gravity? How different would it be? There'd be no order in our universe. Planets might be crashing into other planets, or stars would swallow up other planets as they collide with each other in an endless void of chaos. We can think of adding integers as an important part of our number system that helps bring balance to the chaotic world of numbers. So how do we add integers? When we're adding negatives and positives, I would like for us to think of a giant battle that takes place between yellow colored ants and orange colored ants. Red ants represent negatives and yellow ants represent positives. For example, if we're adding negative nine plus eight, that would be the same as nine red ants and eight yellow ants engaging in a fight. If each yellow ant is locked in battle with a red ant, what would we have left? We would have one red ant left, which is the same as negative one. We can also use nine red counters to represent the number negative nine and eight yellow counters to represent the number positive eight. Every negative and positive form a pair that is equal to zero. We call these zero pairs. What is left is one red or one negative counter. Negative nine plus positive eight is equal to negative one. Let's look at another example. Here we're adding nine plus negative seven. That is the same as nine yellow ants and seven red ants. We will use nine counters to represent our positive number and seven red counters to represent our negative number. We can form a total of seven zero pairs or seven pairs of ants that are locked in battle with each other. That leaves us with two yellow counters or two positives. Nine plus negative seven is equal to two. For last example, we will be adding negative six plus negative eight. We will be using six red counters and eight red counters to represent both numbers. Since we do not have any yellow counters, we can't form any zero pairs. We simply have to combine or count the total numbers of red counters. We have a total of 14 red counters, so our answer is negative 14. Negative six plus negative eight is equal to negative 14. Here's your challenge for this video. What is negative 16 plus positive 10 plus negative four. So go ahead and pause the video to solve the problem and post your answer as a comment so I can get back to you. If you're looking to master various concepts in math and science, you can subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future content.